School for me was, in primary school, was a lot of fun. You know what I mean? It was just sports. I, that's where I started cricket. It's a lot of running around. That's where I also got into track and field uh, because of my cricket coach. Uh, but it was just a lot of fun. Met, I have a lot of friends that I'm still friends with from primary school that used to just hang out, we used to just play cricket, football, any form of sports we possibly could get our hands on. Um, my school was a little bit different. That's where it, my stardom kind of started. Uh, when I was in fourth form, I won the World Juniors and that's when I kind of blew up. The older I got because I trained m much harder, so it was hard, it was difficult because as soon as I started studying and I wanted to sleep because I was so tired, but um, I understood what it, what it took and education is very important, so I, I knew that. That's one thing my dad and my mom always kind of push and just remind me, listen, yeah, you're doing track and field, but you better get your education. Uh, for me, teachers that guide me, uh, there was a few. Um, there was Mr. D'Souza, there was Mr. Service, and Lorna Top. Ms. Lorna Top was actually the sports director, but she actually did history, which I actually enjoyed. Um, Mr. Service was a cricket coach, and Mr. D'Souza, they were the two like top male, male uh, teachers there, and they were really, like if you were, because for some reason in school, Girls always do much better at school than guys, so they would always push me. Listen, not because you're doing track and field, you need to get this right. So it's something that every time I see them, I always thank them and tell them thanks for really pressuring me to really stay focused and just to work hard at school because it, it really meant a lot. It's hard to stay focused at that young age. You just want to have fun, do new things, but School is very important, education is very important. You don't learn that until you get into the real world and see how much there is to learn. So if you can learn it from the start, when it's easier to learn. <laughs> um, for instance, I, I just want to make a point, Spanish. When I was in high school, my Spanish teacher told me like, oh, you should learn Spanish, especially because you do track and feed, you're going to travel so much. And I was like, Nah, I don't want to learn Spanish, you know what I mean? And now I wish I'd learned Spanish, you know what I mean? So I think school is very important, so just take it while you can, trust me. Growing up in Jamaica was just a lot of fun for me. Um, this is one of the main reasons I stayed, you know what I mean? The people, just the energy, just the vibe. Um, I love the country because of all the fruits. You know what I mean? You could find any fruit as long as the season was around. Mangoes, apples, guineps, tar apples, anything. You know what I mean? And as, as a kid growing up, that was a favorite part for us. Just climbing trees, you know what I mean? Picking all these fruits, you know what I mean? Um, going over fences, which we shouldn't, to get mangoes and stuff like that. So for me, it was just wonderful growing up. I tell people I wouldn't change anything in my my younger age, everything was just perfect and fun. I could have lived anywhere. Um, it's just, as I said, it's just the energy of the people and the vibe. And one of the main things also is, is the cold. I hate cold weather, I hate it. So that's one of the main reasons I stay in Jamaica. And I'm a kind of a mama's boy also. So I like to be near my mother so I can go see her anytime I want to. <laughs> my mom is a massive part because she, I wouldn't say she was a stay at home mom, but she did like uh, sewing and stuff and I usually help her so we there's something that we actually bond over over the years my dad was always going out and working and stuff so at times I wouldn't see my dad for weeks but he would come in late leave early you know what I mean but he was always there but every day I was with my mom you know what I mean and she she always spoiled me and that's always a good thing you know what I mean my dad was a disciplinarian my mom was the one that goes, no, don't, just leave him alone, you know what I mean? So it was always good. So we kind of bonded over the years, but she's really nice, really helpful. She always try to help people as much as possible, especially when, like, school comes around and she, everybody wants, can't afford to make uniforms, she would help them out and make uniforms for people for free and stuff like that. So that's how I was brought up to have respect and to help as much as I possibly can. I think that's the main reason I think why I'm humble. My family, just my dad and my mom, both of them are the same way. They really 
taught me to be humble and respectful and to, to really just love everybody and try to forgive, you know what I mean? Because I've seen people just curse my parents out and in like two months, they're, they're cool with them again. I always ask why and they're like, listen, I don't have the energy to hate people, you know what I mean? People might be going through a bad time at times, so you should forgive and love and that's how I was growing. That's how I am growing up and that's why I'm so humble. What I've learned um, from my parents now to implement in my family is just to grow my kids to work hard, be respectful, you know what I mean, stay humble, um, because I've worked hard to bring them up so they, they don't have to struggle as much as I did, you know what I mean? So they're not going to understand struggle, but I need to teach them that, listen, not because you have it, you should flaunt it or, or waste it, you know what I mean? And, uh, just to love and learn to forgive, you know what I mean? One thing I've learned is the world has changed and you have to adapt. I think my dad didn't adapt <laughs> when I was growing up, but I've, I've learned that from him and to understand that the older you get, times traveling, kids are different, you know what I mean? And you just have to change with the time and understand that kids will be different. So I've learned a lot from my parents and I will try to instill them into my kids and just push them and support them in whatever they do. One thing my parents used to do, and I used to wonder why, it was when I used to lie to them, and they would say, I know you're lying. And you're like, I can swear I told a good lie. You know what I mean? You came up with something perfect, but it's just the experience. They've been through it. They've, they've told the same lie you're telling now. You know what I mean? So I've learned so much growing up now, and we understand now what our parents are saying, why they used to say, don't do that, don't do this. So I've learned that, and uh, as I said, I'm just going to try to instill the best that I can instill in my, my children and, and hope they, they listen to me. The good thing is that it's just started, you know what I mean? Um, the difficulty level I know is going to go up the older they get, you know what I mean? So um, I've seen other people's kids and I was like, oh, this is going to be tough, you know what I mean? So I know in time it will get tougher, but right now it's okay. Olympia, all she does is run around and just try to put things in their mouth. So I'm, I'm okay with that right now, but I know the older they get, the tough it's going to get. But I'm looking forward to it, you know what I mean? It's going to be an experience by itself. I definitely think it has changed me. Um, people always ask me a question if I want to be a coach. And my biggest problem was I didn't have any patience. I always tell them, listen, I can't be a coach. I have zero patience, you know what I mean? And now that I have kids, you have to have patience and that's really help. I think that's one of my biggest things. You know what I mean? To learn to have patience and to take time with them and to understand that it's just a process. Christmas for me is, is giving back, you know what I mean? That's something that I've always done, especially to my community. Um, I go back every year and I try to give back toys and like food and just, just to make everybody have a big Christmas because I know everybody can't afford it. So I try to help my community as much as possible. And then after it's like family time, you know what I mean? All the family always come together at my house. We just cook a lot of food. It's always so wonderful, you know what I mean? It's, it's all about family that time. So for me, it's, Christmas is big. Now I have kids, I have to do one year with my, with my girlfriend's family, then one year with my family. So now it's like back and forth, back and forth, you know what I mean? But I guess the older they get, then we can bring everybody together, you know what I mean? But now it's like back and forth. But for me, I enjoy it, you know what I mean? It's, it's fun just to be around family and loved ones, and I really enjoy it. My girlfriend, she's really good at giving presents. I'm a massive fan of Domino's, you know what I mean? And she has gotten gold Domino's made with my signature inscribing them, which was pretty cool that I've never played with. <laughs> but I have them still, which I really love. I think that was one of my best ones. In my chill time, I, I do games still, but I play a lot of dominoes, you know what I mean? Uh, my friends, my close friends are not good at like Jamaican dominoes, so we play French dominoes. And for me, it's very intense, but that's fun. And I'm a binge watcher, so I like to find good series and watch. I, I like to watch anime, so that's something that, like now, I go home, I'll go 
watch some anime or find a nice series and just chill. True story. When I was younger, my mom actually took me to the to the doctor because I wouldn't stand still. The doctor was like, there's something wrong with this kid. <laughs> you need to check him out. And my, he was like, no, he's just energetic. He'll be fine. You know what I mean? Just let him run around and burn himself out. So for me now that I've grown up, I'm the chill. I'm the type of person that just chills out. You know what I mean? I don't do much. You know what I mean? And I'm seeing it to my daughter now. She's like just constantly on the move. And I'm like, she's going to be like me. You know what I mean? So I know it's going to be tough. But for me now, I just... I'm at home, I just chill, watch TV, watch sports, play some dominoes with my friends. I'm just, anything that doesn't have to do with a lot of movement, that's me on my downtime. <laughs> I never used to celebrate Valentine's Day that much, but the older I got, the more I figured out it was so important. And my girlfriend, she loves it, you know what I mean? And I was like, oh, I have to be a good boyfriend, you know what I mean? So I try to go big because I know he's going to make her day very special. So as big as possible, you know what I mean? Um, one year I got a hole in my backyard just with roses and I got a private chef and everything. It was nice light. It was, it was brilliant. I, I tipped my hat to myself that day. I was like, I did well. <laughs> now that we have kids, uh, we have I was like, she was like, oh, we should go on a vacation. I was like, you know what? Just wait until they're older. You know what I mean? Because immediately she was like, oh, let's take them here. Let's take them. I was like, nah, you know what? So wait till they're older and they can walk around and enjoy it more. You know what I mean? Uh, so it's something that you have to take into consideration is you can't just think about yourself anymore. For me, my, my career, my track career was great. Um, I think it was outstanding. I did extremely well. And now moving on is just to build on my legacy. That's my focus, you know what I mean, in any way possible. Um, I'm just working hard, trying to be dedicated, um, trying to find a way to expand, you know what I mean? Because, yes, people know me as a track person, but now off the track, I have to try to build my brand off the track now, and that's what I'm trying to do, uh, just trying to build it as big as possible, expand as much as possible. I've learned so much from track and field and I'm just putting the same energy that I had on the track and in training into my work, you know what I mean? I try to do everything at the best. I try to align myself with the best people, you know what I mean, to build my brand. Um, so that's always my focus, you know what I mean? Because it's, it's a big world out there and I have to leave a legacy for my kids. For me, it's just to learn and listen, you know what I mean? I think I've seen a lot of people fail because they come into something feeling like, oh, I know what I want. Yes, you know what you want, but you don't know how to get it, you know what I mean? So I think a lot of people, they, they don't listen, and I feel like that's the key thing. Listen, watch, and learn, you know what I mean? Because no matter how much you feel like you know, there's so much you can learn. Like, I'm, start, I'm into music now. I love music, I do a lot of music, but I have so much to learn, you know what I mean? And I take my time, we listen to people, we ask permission, we, especially people who you, you've seen succeed in the business already. There's a reason why they're on top, you know what I mean? So just listen, work hard, and be dedicated. Because I travel so much, I, I see it and see what goes on and understand that it, it is real, you know what I mean? And for me, I always try to collab with people or, or just work on my foundation to do anything I possibly can to, to really help the climate uh, or to even cut down my footprint, you know what I mean? So it's something that's very important and I would like to tell people it's real, you know what I mean? Even in Jamaica now, it's so much hotter than it usually was like five years ago, you know what I mean? So people just need to understand that it's real and just be, be aware. I'm focused on, on early childhood education, I mean, to give um, young kids a, a, a good start, a better start in life. But I always try to do different things with different people. And that's why I ended up got, getting into climate change and doing work with that.